Hello everyone. You are welcome to Few Core Mathematics. In this video, we are going to provide a solution to this problem right away. We have y over 2 multiplied by y over 2 equal to 2 over y, right? Okay, so the first step I want us to take is to multiply the left hand side y times y that will give y squared then over 2 times 2 that will give 4 and this will be equal to 2 over y right but then we can still cross multiply okay so if we cross multiply it will be y squared times y which will give us y to the power of 3 and that will be equal to 4 times 2, which will give us 8. Now we can bring 8 to the left. So we have y to the power of 3 minus 8 is equal to 0. Now our next target is to make sure we have the same power on the left. So that means we should have y to the power of 3 minus, minus 2 to the power of 3. Because 8 is 2 to the power of 3, and this will be equal to 0. Okay, so now, I want us to use one standard. Remember that if you have a squared minus b squared, okay, it's power 3. a to the power 3, and b to the power of 3. This is the same thing as a minus b. Then, in the other bracket, you have a squared plus a b then plus b squared now i'm going to apply this same standard to this problem so that in place of a minus b we're going to have y minus 2 okay and then in place of a squared again i'm going to have y squared plus a b becomes y times 2 and that is 2y then plus b squared becomes 2 squared and that will be 4 this will now be equal to 0 now the next thing is to apply zero product rule and that says it is either y minus 2 is equal to 0 or y squared plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0 now i want to pick this linear equation first to get the value of y but don't forget that we are going to bring out all the solutions right so y minus 2 equals 0 meaning that y is equal to 2 and this is the first solution to the problem and it is a real solution now, to get other solutions, we will go to the quadratic equation here, where we have y squared plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. From here, y, okay, we can factorize this. So what we'll do is to apply the formula method so that our a becomes 1 our b becomes 2 and our c is 4 a is a coefficient of x of y squared um, b is a coefficient of y and c is a constant which is 4 but then what is the formula since we have y in the quadratic equation y will be the subject and it will be equal to minus b positive or negative then we have square root of b squared minus 4ac everything is over 2a now let us try to substitute into this problem y will be minus 2 positive or negative okay so here we have 2 squared that is for b minus 4 times 1 times 4 so this is what we have and then this is over 2 times 1 because a is 1 
This means y is equal to minus 2, positive or negative, square root of um, 2 squared, that will give 4, minus 4 times 1 times 4, and it is 16. This is all over 2. Now the next step is this, y will be equal to minus 2, positive or negative, we have square root of negative 12. That is 4 minus 16, and this is over 2. Now, I want to take a step. y is equal to minus 2, positive or negative, square root of 12 times square root of negative 1. I needed to point out the negative. That's why negative 1 came out. And this is over 2. Now, let's continue. Um y will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus this 12 is the same thing as 4 times 3 and square root of 4 is 3 so okay this is the same thing as 4 times 3 and square root of 4 is 2 so that means 12 is the same thing as 2 root um, 3 okay so square root of 12 is the same thing as 2 root 3 then square root of negative 1 will give i. Do not forget that this i is not under the square root, right? So this will be over 2. But then 2 can go into this and this. So y will be equal to 2 into minus 2. That will give minus 1. Then plus or minus 2 into this will go. So we have root 3 i. And what does this mean? It means that y is actually equal to minus 1 plus square root of root 3i or mm, minus 1 minus square root of 3i. Okay, so these are the two other solutions for the equation. Now, let's bring the three solutions together since we are to, you know, solve it completely. The first solution will now be y1 and that will be 2. Okay, so y1 is equal to 2. Then the second solution will be y2 and that will be from here. Minus 1 plus square root of 3i. Then the third solution that will be y3 and it is minus 1 minus square root of 3i so these are the three solutions for the equation but note that it is only the first solution that is a real solution